What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. So today me and Hunter, we're out doing some field herping today. It is a very rare, warm February day. We're heading on down to the sand hills and we're gonna try and find some awesome species of snakes. Any snakes that we can find really. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna head on down there and we'll see you guys in a bit. guys well we made it out here to our herping spot about to go flip some tin here in just a second and let's see what's under it Alrighty, guys well we have been cruising for what did you say like two hours now too long too long finally got our first snake of the night a beautiful banded water snake nerodia fasciata beautiful one nice orange head on this guy These guys are normally pretty bitey which is really nice to see one that's not that bitey awesome first snake of the night nerodia fasciata banded water snake awesome that's fantastic Just uh, pulled up, ready to release this water snake. That's fantastic. First snake of the night, let's go. So give me a bountiful night of herping. That's like the best I could do. Day two. Alrighty guys, well, it's the next day. Did not find anything else besides that abandoned water snake. I feel a little sick and I look kind of sick. Alas, the grind does not stop. Not here to flip some tin in this local park, so I'll let you know if we find anything. Alrighty guys, well, under that little piece of tin, this is absolutely gorgeous eastern worm snake. Beautiful. Nice chocolate brown coloration on the top. Beautiful pink little belly. Fantastic, my first little worm snake of 2023. It's actually a really nice day out. It's about like 70 degrees. So I wasn't expecting too much to be undercover, but that tin was nice and warm and this guy was just sitting there hanging out under there. Let's see why they're called worm snakes. They look almost identical to a little worm. That is fantastic. First snake of the day. All right guys, well, let's go ahead and put this little worm snake right back where we found him. Keep on searching. Awesome, first snake of the day. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I'm sitting here at this creek and I just missed a little water snake that was right there. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's actually, oh, there he is. He's poking his little head out. A little northern water snake, Nerodia Cypodon. I'm gonna wait for him to uh, come on out of there and see if I can get a glove on him. Oh, Alrighty guys, while well, I'm waiting for this uh, little water snake, look at this. A beautiful southern two-line salamander. Just came up out the water. That is awesome. I've never seen him like kind of walk around like that. That's really cool. Alrighty, guys, under this nice little piece of tin. Just flip two. Two. Absolutely gorgeous. Decays brown snakes, Steraria decayi. These guys are a little bit skinny. I'm assuming they probably haven't had a meal through the winter. Super, super cool to get a double flip. Doesn't matter if it's a uh, fossorial or not. Two snakes. 110. Pretty decent size for uh, DKs. These guys don't get too big, maybe about a foot, foot and a half, maybe. That's awesome. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's go ahead and let's put these two back on another piece of tin. There you go, guys. Day three. Uh, wouldn't you know? It's herping time. Again. I'm gonna probably just continue this from the last little bit where I actually found stuff. So, this will be a three part video. 
I'm about to go down to the sand hills, you know, full sender activities, and we're gonna see what we get. So we'll catch it down there, yeah? Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, I just flipped the very first piece of tin right there, and it yielded this wonderful little gem of the southeast. This right here is a southeastern crown snake, also known as a tantilla. Oh. They were just doing some burning over here, and unfortunately, this guy looks like he got hit in the crossfire. So these guys are really, really cool. They look just like a ringneck snake, except that they are not. You can see that little ring and that little black ring right behind it. These guys are really, really neat in the fact that they are pretty much centipede-eating specialists. Oh. This kind of encompasses the main part of their diet. You don't really see too many species that feed almost exclusively on centipede. This is only the third or fourth tantilla that I've ever found. See just how beat up that poor little guy's tail is. I really hope he's able to make it. He doesn't seem to have too much nerve action going on down there, but they have a beautiful cream color belly, beautiful tan upper, and of course those two gorgeous rings right there at the head. Definitely could look a little bit better and I really feel sorry for this guy, but that's still an awesome snake nonetheless and the first snake of the day. Beautiful southeastern crown snake. Go ahead and put this little tantilla right back where we found him. Look at that, I hope he heals up from those injuries. There he goes, first snake of the day. Alrighty guys, well, we're flipping around on this bird site and I believe this to be a little small broadhead skink sitting right under a log. Look at that, how gorgeous is that? You can only see broadhead skinks all too often, so it's kind of a treat. It's like a reward. Put the little ground skink right there. See some little lateralis. Flip King. <laughs> Flip King. Let me see that. Oh. oh. Dude. That's insane. Dude, I flipped and it started like going back in its like hole. So I grabbed it and yeah, I was like, yeah, no, you're coming I, with I, me, I, bro. I'm, I'm not dude. taking this L tonight. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, guys. This right here is the Eastern Glass Lizard. How amazing is that? This is actually a species of legless lizard. You can tell he's a lizard because one, he has eyelids. Two, he also has an ear hole, which you can see right there. He also does not have a forked tongue. That is incredible. They look just like a snake, but this is actually a lizard. This is absolutely insane. This is my lifer. Hunter flipped it under a rock at night. At night. Unreal. Kind of a step above that one, but this one's newer, so it has newer technology. Unreal. So. What an incredible species. What an incredible night. That's crazy. Please hit me as hard as you can. Don't hold back.